In order to preserve the beautiful waters in the Brainerd Lakes area, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency is going to begin a new watersh watershed project on the Mississippi River. Today they informed the public about it at an open house. Our Logan Gay has more. Through this watershed program, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency will be assessing the conditions of rivers, lakes and streams. The project will focus on the Mississippi River and is set to begin this month. There's, a, there's actually 80, watershed, 80 watersheds in the state of Minnesota and we sample them on a 10 year rotation. So this was just kind of a kickoff event to have the public learn about what we're going to be doing this summer. The watershed monitoring involves sampling different aquatic species. And we'll be sampling streams for fish and macroinvertebrates or aquatic insects. And we have about uh, 60 to 65 monitoring stations across the whole watershed and we'll be out collecting fish um, from June through September-ish, through June through August, and then we'll be collecting invertebrates from August through September. This project will help assess the water quality in the area and make improvements where needed. The whole purpose of the project is to preserve the beautiful lakes for years to come. Statewide, we have a lot of really good water quality, but there's areas of the state we don't know much about. Um, so we're going into these unknown areas and finding out whether there's pollution or a, a problem. And um, we're also finding areas with really good water quality that we can protect for the future. I've seen a lot of changes. We need to get it back to what it once was. The clear blue waters is what they used to talk about, and we need to see that again. A portion of the water chemistry monitoring will be collected by the Soil and Water Conservation Districts of Aiken and Crow Wing Counties. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The open house ran from 4 to 7 today at the Northland Arboretum in Brainerd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.